It is Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107.9. You locked in with your boy Reese. I got my homie, my ace, my partner, them, and Ray in the building. What's happening? What's up? And we got a new friend of the show, Amara La Negra, is in the building. What's up, baby? How y'all doing? I'm lovely. <laughs> Super excited to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, uh, it is actually our pleasure. Amen to that. Thank you. Hey, you're I'm so really excited. cute. She's so pretty. Oh, my oh, God. Thank you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, I, all this Me Too stuff, I can't say what I want to say. Well, I'll say it for you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Looking all good and stuff. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Feeling like new money. I see. You know what I'm saying? Do you see it? <laughs> Started from the bottom, now we're here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I thought we was going to get the little fro today, man. I'm a little disappointed. But it, this looks good. Don't get thank me wrong. Thank you. This thank you. Good. You know, funny enough, if I change it, they'll complain. And if I don't mm-hmm. change they, it, they they'll complain. complain. Yeah. So I Nobody. don't know what to do. <laughs> right. But, um, but yeah, every so often I like to change it. And I've always made it very clear that my hair is part of me, but it's not who I am. Mm-hmm. So um, even in the movie that I'm doing, uh, now, Fall Girls. Fall Girls. Yes, it looks yes. Good. a comedy. Yes, it's a comedy directed by Chris Stokes. I'm extremely happy, excited. I am very grateful with him because he gave me an opportunity. You know mm-hmm. that when you're new, a lot of people don't want to take risks or chances with but you. But you're not new. You've been doing this. You was on Telemundo when you was like a month old. Univision, yes, yes, I was. But at least for acting. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, acting is you, still like a new thing for me. And then on top of that, I, I'm the lead of yeah. the movie. So. Just him giving me the opportunity. I'm extremely grateful. You know, I work with an amazing cast. Um, So, you know, as a whole, I'm really excited and I can't wait for there to be a part two or more movies to come. (laughs) It looks really good, too. And it looks like it's going to be... It's On really point. funny. It's really funny. Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy it. So definitely go check it out, Fall Girls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so acting yeah. is going to be the next thing for you. You know what? I'm a very open-minded person. I'm always willing to take new challenges to try new things. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, you only have one life to live. So what's the worst right. that can happen? So I act, I dance, I sing, I jump, I fly, I do everything. <laughs> Tell me what I'm going to do. We're it. doing it. Okay. <laughs> I like it. Now, you say you was a little bit sore because you've been practicing so hard for this uh-huh. other endeavor you got going. Tell us about it. Okay, well, for those that don't know, um, Mira Quien Baila mm-hmm. um, is, a, is like the Spanish version of Dancing with the Stars on Univision. Right. And it's actually even bigger because there's so many Latin countries that mm-hmm. watch the show. So it's a very, very big deal. And um, it's eight celebrities. Amongst that, there's actors, there's boxers, there's mm-hmm. a little bit of everything. And, um, well, there's me. Right. And I'm um, dancing really hard. It's a lot of work. It seems so much easier when you watch the show. Right. But there's so much work behind it. There's six days of rehearsals a week. Mm. And um, I'm very competitive by nature. Right. You know, I grew up doing beauty pageants, and my mom was one of those psychotic <laughs> beauty pageant moms. <laughs> So I'm very competitive, so I must win. I so see. I'm working really hard. That's what's up. I always see you, your post with your mom on your IG and stuff. Hi, like mom. That. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yes, I do. Shout out to my mom. She always supports me, and I'm very grateful for her. That's what's up. We're right here with Amara La Negra right now. We're talking about her Univision. She's coming back. So you came back to them. Did they approach you like because you already had the relationship, or how did that come about? Well, I mean, I grew up in, in yeah. Univision. Obviously, you know, throughout the years, other things have happened. I've dedicated myself into my music, and I've you know, adventured in other places, but they reached out to me and then I passed it on to my manager and I was like, well, go handle it. And, um, yeah, I most definitely wanted to do it. I've always wanted to do Dancing with the Stars, okay. the English version. Okay. okay. But um, doing the Spanish version is also an honor. Right. So I was like, of course I will do it. And I'm representing the Dominican Republic. You already know. I got no power, my Dominicans. I'm representing the Dominican Republic and I'm also giving my prize to a Dominican foundation called the Dominican Women Development Center Mm. um, that's all about, you know, equality, women's rights. I'm all obviously against, you know, uh, domestic violence and all those other things. So I'm just there to support. I definitely understand that, man. So if you are not familiar with her, you're going to be re-familiarized real soon and you're going to be on Love & Hip Hop again. Yeah. I see. What was the eye rolling about? I was just about to say, (laughs) why are you coming back? Because you have so much other stuff going on. Right. That's what I was thinking. And it's like, not saying it's a bad show. Nobody out there. I'm not saying that. I'm not (laughs) trying to be shady. But it just seems like your brand and who you are just seems so much bigger than that. Your energy is different than most of the energy we see from Love and Hip Hop. Yes. Like, even when I saw you on there, I'm not an avid watcher, but when I saw you on there, you just seemed so upbeat and positive and just bubbly yeah i'm really bubbly right. um you know what it is you know i really i really felt like i needed to come back you know i obviously i've always known why i wanted to be on the show mm-hmm. and it was to use the platform to promote my music right. to showcase who i am as a person i always knew that part obviously eventually you know it still is a tv show and i know that people can get caught up in what's happening right. but it's still a tv show you know, with ratings right, mm-hmm. right, that have right. include money uh-huh. and checks. So basically, yes. Mona cut the check. No, 
I love Mona. <laughs> Shout out to Mona. But you know, it is what it is. Um, and I'm I'm being strategic and I have my vision and I have my plans. I know that a lot of my fan base don't agree with me coming back. I might come back to a third. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, who knows? Checks. <clears throat> but you know, that's all that matters because your fan base is like, oh, she's so much bigger than this. So you have done what you really set out to do, actually use that as platform. long As long as my fans, fans can read between mm-hmm. the lines of certain situations that happen, then I'm okay, you know? Because yeah. obviously, as you can tell from this season, um, I'm somewhat looking like, uh, how can I say this nicely? <laughs> Um, I'm looking like like I am in I'm thirsty. Is that a better a version? Thottyish? Like a thoughty okay. really? That's it. Why? Yeah, because what happens is that um, you know, um as much work as I'm doing and everything, you know, I really have a thing, you know, for sliding up in people's DMs and trying to holler at gunplay okay. and I'm I'm just trying to take Jesse's man and I'm trying to take this other person's man and I wanna so be with this other man and, DM and I wanna slider. be yeah. She's not sliding into yours. Don't worry about ah. it. I mean, Reese Sweeney at uh, Instagram. You know what? Funny enough, Going I'm a very there. open-minded person, and I'm very vocal. I'm very open. If I do something, I'll own up to it. Yeah, I did it. So what? Right. Or yeah, I did it. My bad. And I'll apologize for it. Mm-hmm. But um, And I'm also anti-confrontation. So if I didn't do something like recently that it came up on Love & Hip Hop, right. if I didn't do something, I'll still apologize. It's a Libra thing. Mm-hmm. I'll apologize just so we can move forward. Like, okay, I'm sorry, like my bad. All right, yeah. But I yeah. love that, that you just admitted that you actually slide into men's DMs. Yes. Because we have this conversation all the time. Women are like, uh-uh, I'm not doing that. He got to come after me. So right. I like that. Okay, let the ladies know. 2019, you and can. You like that upper and you're so beautiful. Lady, you're so beautiful. Yes. You got so much personality, a lot of things going. I would be surprised that you would be sliding in the DM. Well, in this case, when it comes to love and hip-hop per okay. se, okay. let's always clarify. When it comes to love and hip-hop, I, I, I did get into someone's DMs, mm-hmm. but it was never on no personal stuff it was always the, I'm very business oriented okay. and goal oriented oh, okay, okay. but you know I get it it is it, good it is it made sense you know for TV okay but what I'm saying is yeah I agree I feel that if you like someone you only have one life to live and I hate regretting stuff so if you like someone what's the worst that can happen you say no all right cool I tried mm-hmm. so why not do it you know Okay. I think I if think, you used to slide into my DMs as a man, I probably would think it was a fake account. I'm like, she's she not coming right. to me. You know. <laughs> she's speaking from, like, my conscience right now, from my soul right now. I be thinking it's like, nah, that can't be. You know that right. I, had, so- I had Tinder and everything. <clears throat> For real? Really? <laughs> That's crazy. What's your account? No, I'll just, I'll just play. I'll just play. I'll just play. You know what? Funny <laughs> enough, it is so... People judge you so much based off your looks mm-hmm. yeah. and, and, be, and based off what they think that your life is yeah. that they won't approach me. A lot of men, you know, is they can intimidated. get intimidated. Yeah. You know, I'm a strong woman. Why. I'm very vocal. I'm right. independent. I get my own money. Um, you know, I don't really need a man. I want one. I, I don't yeah. need you, but I want. Right. I want hey. the company. I want. Right. You know, there's certain things that I can give myself. <laughs> so I want you, mm-hmm. but um, men don't approach me as much as you would think. That's crazy. They will look at me and try to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm looking at you, like, but you like, and I'm like, come. Hold on, show me. Give them so, and they won't wait, wait. come. So, because we do have the cameras rolling, show me the eye. Give me the eye. What you, yeah. What's the eye? Well, they, they kind of be looking like, you know. Like this? So, like, if I, was a, if, if I was a dude looking like that, I'd be like. Yeah, or sometimes they want to give you the. Yeah, when they, they be that's doing the, all that the extra skin, stuff. That's a light skin girl. <laughs> <laughs> right wait, this is a <laughs> They yeah, do all I the extra stuff. <laughs> and I be looking too, like, you know, you, you bat your eyes, like, <laughs> you get oh, them that hair. <laughs> so when y'all do that, that's what that means? Eye, yes, you get them to come yeah. over, yeah, and they how, won't you, come. You know how, how slow we are as men? Because I wouldn't even know that that's, that's what I'm supposed to do at that point. Well, what exactly is it that you need for me to, like, what what clue do you need? Like, we bat the eyes, we pull some hair. Then your voice, your voice change a little bit? Cause I seen you do that when dudes come up here you sometimes. Know, that's the come Look, up. You see how voice is changed? It, it, it comes so natural. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I love> <laughs> Fellas, I hope y'all taking notes because we are learning something right now. So, uh, what would be the the uh, perfect situation if a dude approach you? What kind of approach would you would you like? Um, calling me sexy is definitely not not it. But if you call me beautiful, mm. you you know you have my attention. Right. I love intellectual conversations because okay. you barely find those these days. You know the square root of pi is three point one four. Oh wow, is that so? Absolutely. Oh, I love that. What else do you know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, see my face. <laughs> no, but I do love intellectual conversations stuff like that. Obviously, every girl likes to laugh. So if mm-hmm. you can make me laugh, it's a beautiful thing. And um. And pretty much, you know, I'm really open. I don't have any specific, like, looks. Yeah. I don't care about looks. I love a man with a tummy. 
You know, if you okay. have, if you if you got a little pudge just, in your head, you're a little, little pregnant. If, if, if you're a little, just a little pregnant, I like that. I I'm like that. On the first trimester <laughs> over here. I'm but um, too. No, I'm I'm not flat. picky. I'm not picky. I just mm-hmm. feel like the older you get and the more you mature, the more you realize what really matters. And mm-hmm. looks is just not it. Why you like a guy to be a little pudgy? Like, I'm, and I'm just saying that because we're in the the era of all these different diets and all of yes. this different stuff. Men and wearing everybody race wanting, trainers, all of that. Yeah, like so. Oh, don't look so. So look, <laughs> if I've dated men that are very skinny, mm-hmm. and I'm cool with that too. Yeah. And I've dated guys that I've had to lift. To, to find. What, what, oh. You have to live to find to it. Seek. That's what we're going to yeah. call it. Okay. And I was cool with that, too. I didn't have a problem with that. I mean, he treated me well. He was mm. very respectful. He showed me his love. Right. And, you know, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love you, too. All right. That's what's up. Marta, you are crazy. Now, tell me about this other situation with Scott Vodka. How did that come about? Um, actually, Julian could say more exactly about how it came about, but um, I know that once they presented me the project of being the new face of Sky yeah. Vodka, I was definitely interested. Um, I, you know, it's an honor for me to know that um, they considered me to be a good image yeah. to represent their brand. Because yeah, I saw the, like some of the clips, and it was mm-hmm. like really empowering. Yeah, and it doesn't look like a, your typical look at commercial or or a spot. It just looked like. This is a woman doing her thing, and she's proud to be who she is. Right, and they're trying different formats now. You know, mm-hmm. you kind of have to go with the times. Mm-hmm. So the fact that they they took as well an opportunity with me, I'm grateful for it. Um, and you know, we have a lot of projects coming up with Sky Vodka, so mm-hmm. stay tuned for that. Okay, yeah. cool. Now you see people uh, breaking crazy into the Latin and American culture, right? You see what Cardi's doing with these numbers, see. and then walking, working with like Bad Bunny and stuff like that. Do you have any like crossover things? We've got an EP coming out, right? Yes, I have a song actually with Messia. Mm. He's uh, he's yeah. also Dominican. But um, I would, I always say, because they ask me all the time, who would you like to work with? Who would you like to collab with? I never pick specific names. Mm. I would love to work with anybody who wants to work with me. Mm. I would love to work with anybody who sees potential in me and is willing to work with me now and not because of the hype. Right. You know, because when you have the hype, everybody wants to work with you. Mm -hmm. But when you're not, let's say, at the peak, that's when you really have to pay attention to the people that support you. So I would love to work with anybody who sees the potential in me now. Okay, that's what's up. So what is the the near future? What would you like to see yourself? Because you got so many things going. Oh, yeah, and I didn't finish telling you. So, by the way, yeah, guys, definitely go check out my children's book, Amarita's Way, available on Amazon.com in Spanish and in English, now available in Barnes & Nobles all over the United States as well. Mm. Um, You know, I'm a businesswoman. So what what is is we going to look at in the book? What is the message in the children's book? Um, I've always said that, you know, I've always been hurt when people have said that I use a race car to get ahead because there's no need for me to do that. Obviously, as you can right. see, I'm black. I'm not mm-hmm. faking it, even though that I've been accused of doing blackface and all these other things. But right. um, I think the representation is so important. And you and you, it really starts from home. It starts from when they're little. Yeah. Letting them know that they're beautiful. Your, your melanin is amazing. The texture of your hair, mm-hmm. your curves, even if you're chunky, you're tall, you're, you children need to hear this and the reasons why i am so confident is because my mother always instilled that in me from a very early age 